spend money to make money. Mm, boy, we know we know that isn't true at all. We right. know from so much experience that that isn't true at all. How in the heck does that myth prevail? I, I don't know. To, well, to me, Jack, you know, it sounds like it's you know the, the idea of having to spend money to make money sounds like something that people say who can't convince you how the money you're going to spend is going to benefit you. Okay. So if you just throw that out and say, I'm trying to convince you, Jack, that you should invest X dollars here, all right? And you know, you've thrown all kinds of objections my way, and you know, I can't convince you otherwise. So I just throw it out there and make you feel like you're an idiot. Hey, you know, don't you know you got to spend money to make money, Jack? How do you refute that, right? Because it's out there. People have heard it, have heard it said, so it's... So it's one of those things people just drop that gauntlet down there and say, you know, you got to spend money to make money, Jack. Yeah, I think that's that's a good good insight. I think it it also it stops like so many things. It stops people from taking that next step and actually doing. So there's more reasons not to do it seems in the small business world than there are reasons to do. Right. And this is one of them. This is kind of the granddaddy of it all. You know, I can't search for companies. I can't to buy. I can't. Uh, start my startup because it's going to cost too much money. And what do we do, Adam? What, what do we typically do? We ask them for, well, geez, tell us uh, what, what's your plan look like? Right. What plan? You know, it's it's. <laughs> why should I start a plan? It's uh, develop a plan and waste all that time. Well, it's it's one of those things that almost it almost throws out the idea that you should spend frivolously, right? And so the idea of well, well, what if the money you're spending is not a good investment? What about spending time instead? You know, you know, we see this a lot, and we'll often talk about it, especially when it comes to, to things like marketing. That's probably where, where this comes up a lot for folks, is you're, you're, you're trying to balance those two of, of spending time or spending money. That's and, right. And as, a, as an owner of a small company, uh, chances are you, you probably don't have a, have a ton of either of those, that, you know, at least not to spare, you know, depending where you are in your company, but you're, you're always kind of balancing those two. And so we'll often say, look, a couple of things. One is spend a little more time, to your point, Jack, putting together a plan of here's what we're going to do. And if we're going to spend some money, let's make sure that we know what to expect from spending that money. Not just spending it because, well, that's what everybody's telling me to do. i got to spend money to make money. Don't, don't find yourself uttering that phrase at all. That's right. If you do go as far as putting a plan together, however good it is, find somebody like us to bounce it off of. You know, one of our, this comes to mind, one of our clients, he... he he, uh, he's been on and off with us for probably three, may I am always bad with this, but probably five years. And he's in the recycling business. He has a plan to get into the recycling business, and it's a worldwide plan. And it's a good plan. This guy's a natural born salesman he, he, in, in the sense that he's very outgoing, he's very charismatic, and he, he puts these plans together that are excellent. And he comes right up to the execution part, and he doesn't have money and he never gets going on really taking his plan to the next step. So the last time we met with him, which was a few months ago, we said, what are you doing with all this big infrastructure in your plan where you're going to have trucks and collections and people? And Why don't you just start and go with your natural talents and that's selling? So he looked at us like that was one of the strangest <laughs> options in the world, but he got so excited about it that that's what he's doing. Yeah, so, he's, he's, so, he's, instead of, yeah, so instead of investing in a bunch of equipment and plants and a bunch of other stuff that would be millions of dollars in investment, he's going to broker stuff because there's there's people out there who already have those trucks and those plants and, 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 those, and the equipment in place that are, are underutilized, so there's excess capacity out there. That's right, and, and you said the, the magic word there, broker. We absolutely love brokering things. Why? Because if you do some planning, you're going to find along, if it's a good plan, you're going to find opportunities along that plan trail that don't cost a lot of money but give you experience, valuable experience. And in, in this client example that I was just talking about, they can lock on to a couple of big companies already established all companies are looking for sales. And this guy's a natural. He's an absolute natural. So why shouldn't he become a salesman for a company, learn, because he's, he's a sponge that way, learn all the ins and outs about spending the big bucks and why and where they go and what are the trials and tribulations of that, and then assess later if he even wants to start a business that complicated. All right, but you know, one of the hardest things to, to prove with, with any business model, because it's often on paper, is to prove that you can get sales. So one